After years of waiting, a sequel to Tron has finally come. It's Tron Legacy. The reaction to this film seemed to be very split, and it seemed to be with very specific people. Anyone that was waiting for years and years to see a sequel to Tron usually don't like it. But the typical moviegoer just looking to have a good time with some okay effects and action seemed to like it fine. And seeing how I never got that big into Tron to begin with, yeah, I guess I'm on that boat too. The setup is, years later, Flynn's son is the CEO of a gigantic corporation. But he's also a lost rebel that likes to sabotage his own corporation. Yeah, try to make sense out of that. He's upset because he could never find out what happened to his father, but suddenly, all his questions are answered when he himself is sucked into the video game world. He finds what he thinks is his father, but honestly it's just a lookalike called the CLU. The CLU, of course, wants control of everything, and wants to keep Flynn as far away from it as possible. So, just as he's about to axe Flynn's son, Flynn's apprentice comes in and saves the day. Reuniting the son with the father. And here's where it gets confusing and complicated again. I guess the reason that all this happened is because Flynn, while staying in the program, discovered some form of life that created itself and apparently has all the answers to life, the universe, religion, all that stuff. This is what caused the big split between Flynn and the CLU. And the race is on to who can have total control of everything to take over the world or something like that. Like I said, it gets weird and complicated. And let's face it, that's not the kind of movie this is. This movie is here to be a straightforward action adventure with cool effects and a unique design and yeah, that's pretty much what we got. I give it credit for tapping on some of these ideas, but they don't really follow all the way through with it. Or if they do, it's in a story that's way too complicated to understand. I guess in a way it is very much like the first one, as it is hard to follow, but with the first one it was tied in much more to the story and what was going on. Here it's just sort of more of a side event, while the rest of the movie is busy making excuses to have fight sequences. But they're fun fight sequences, and there's a lot of great visuals. Is it great action? No, but I will give it credit for having a very unique design that adds on top of the original Tron film. You do look at this universe saying, yes, this is still Tron, but at the same time they've really updated it. It isn't just cleaning up the effects, it is still giving it its very unique look. Like, if you were to put on Tron and then Tron Legacy, you could clearly tell which one was which. So for me, I think the film is okay. I wasn't expecting much, and I got actually a little bit more than I expected. At least with the visuals and the action. But anyone hoping for some sort of groundbreaking film or the sequel you've been waiting years and years to continue the grand story and answer a lot of the questions, you're not gonna get it here. This is a punch em out movie with some nice effects and one or two ideas that are just sort of tapped upon. So hopefully you can figure out if that'll be to your liking and you can see for yourself.